cattle spend most of their lives on pasture. Uh, calves are usually born on pasture and then they may be on pasture after they're weaned. But then we take them to a feedlot where we bring the feed to them so that they can grow until they are ready to go to market. So on our farm, the cattle eat corn silage, which is the whole plant chopped up, grain corn, which is just the kernel, and sometimes we feed haylage, which is chopped up alfalfa and grass, and they also feed a couple of byproducts. One of them is wet distiller's grain, which is what's left over when you make ethanol, and the other is a, a kind of a flour product that is left over when, uh, when grain is milled. And we also feed a, a mineral, which contains all the important vitamin and minerals. And those ingredients are all mixed together to make the feed for the cattle. The ration changes while the animals are here. As the animals are growing and developing, they have different nutrient needs. So we will change the ration accordingly. Uh, the animals have access to a water bowl in their pen 24 hours a day. We use growth promotants on our farm, although not all farmers do. But for us, it allows us to use less resources to produce our beef. We use a little bit less feed, less water, and less land to produce the same product. A high quality, balanced ration is important for feeding beef cattle because it keeps them healthy and it meets their needs as they're growing. We want the animals to grow properly before they put on weight because it's healthy for them. We want their body and their structure and their bones to grow just like a proper development and then they can start gaining weight and putting on more muscle as they have grown. So we want to do that sustainably so it's healthy for the animals and that brings a better product to the consumers. Cattle spend a lot of their life on pasture or grass and some of those lands are maybe marginal lands which can't be used to grow crops. Maybe because they're too steep, they have rocks, they're too wet, they're too dry, there's lots of reasons. But cattle have this amazing quality of turning that grass into protein which otherwise we couldn't achieve from those lands. On our farm we bring the forages or the fiber component of the ration to the cattle. So the forage components could be corn silage, which is the whole corn plant chopped up. It could be haylage, which is alfalfa and grasses chopped up. It could also be barlage, which is a barley plant all chopped up, and we bring those components in our feed wagon to the cattle to eat.